Kanisa. Bwana asifiwe. second service ama ni first service so what happens in first service we are supposed to be vibrant bwana asifiwe we are supposed to be jumping like the young calves according to the word of god bwana asifiwe but now these have come to realize that second service is more vibrant than the first service bwana asifiwe hiyo ni haki Mutasema mulitendea Mungu nini mkiwa wadogo. I'm 50 years now. Bwana asifiwe. I'm what? I'm 50. Half a century. Thank you my mom. Bwana asifiwe. And I can never get enough of jumping for the Lord. Because that is one of the secrets of of remaining young. Bwana asifiwe. It is one of the secrets of remaining what? Young. That is how you shed off the extra kilos. That is how you glow because you are sweating and it it becomes team. Bwana asifiwe. Can we do that one that song one more time? Na this time nataka mchukue space. Na this time nataka ujue uko na siri. Na wale ambao hawajui siri wajue kuna siri. Tukiruka mwaka wa 2024, I want the devil to know that we know the secret. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe kanisa. Nataka kuchangamkia huyu Yesu na kumwambia anastahili kwa sababu hakuna Mungu aliye kama yeye. Bwana asifiwe. When I remember kuna wengi ambao hawakuamka leo. Kuna wengi ambao hawakuamka jana na sisi tumepatiwa nafasi ya kukuja kuabudu Mungu kwa nyumba yake. Bwana asifiwe. The word of God says cast all your cares unto me because I care for you. It does not matter if you had breakfast or not. It does not matter if you ate last night or not, but the Lord cares for you. Can we do that happy song for a few minutes? And this time, let us give God the glory.
when your heart is right. Bwana sifiwe. Bwana sifiwe kanisa. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you the glory, honor, and praise. Thank you for your very breath that has given us life. Thank you, Lord, for rescuing us from even trap that we did not know, oh God. Father, as we sit down to partake of your bread, help us, O oh God, for your word says that you have prepared a table for us. Father, may we dine and eat and drink with you, O oh King of Kings, because you are our Father. As I begin to minister your word, Lord, I decrease that you will increase in my life, Lord. Use me for your glory, O oh God. Use me, my Father. Put your very words in my mouth that, Lord, your word will come with power. Father, we thank you. Thank you for every family represented here. Receive all the glory, honor, and praise. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Buona sifiwe. Let us have our seats. Is it Happy New Year or it's Merry Christmas? Eh? Merry Christmas. We are somewhere there, eh? Spiritually, I know that right now we are in labor. We are in labor. Uh, we are almost giving birth. Giving birth is when we are getting into 2024. So, how is your labor? Especially when you are in the presence of God. Of God. So today I'm here to bring the word of God. It's been a while. My name's are Lucy Nyagodhi Nyaga. My thank you. I'm married to one married to one man, Mr. Samuel Nirito Ambogo, the love of my life. A mother to three, the most handsome boys in the planet. Oh, yes. Clinton, Peter, and Michael. A mother-in-law to Christina War. And a grandmother to Shine Cassie Nyagodhye in the Rito. And above all, I love Jesus Christ as my personal savior. What can beat that? And I know he loves me. I know he loves me. Do you know that God loves you? Yes. Amen. That is the only comfort that we know. That no matter what we are going through. No matter what choices we are making in life. Let us know that God loves us. Today the word of God came from the book of Deuteronomy. And the book of Romans. And the title is Choices. The word of God is clear. About the choices that we make in life. One thing that I love about the Holy Spirit is that he will never, ever, ever force you to do what you do not want. 
Bwana asifiwe. And that is why the word of God says that he's at the door knocking. So it's for you to make a choice if you're going to open the door or not. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Today I'm here to talk to the youth. I'm here to talk to the youth specifically. There is so much that is going on in life. When we go to the book of Romans, we see Let me read from the word of God in the in the version of TPT. That is a translation passion. Who knows it? The TPT version. You can download it. It's a very simple English. Uh, for this reason God gave them over to their own disgraceful and vile passion. Inflamed with lust for one another, men and women ignored the natural order and exchanged normal sexual relations for homosexuality. Women engaged in lesbian conduct and men committed shameful acts with men, receiving in themselves the due penalty for their deviation. And because they thought it was worthless to embrace the true knowledge of God, God gave them over. Bwana sifiwe. They have made a choice, eh? God gave them over to a worthless mindset to break all rules of proper conduct. Their sinful lives became full of every kind of evil, wicked schemes, greed and cruelty. Their hearts overflowed with jealous cravings and with conflict and strife, which drove them into hateful arguments and murder. They are deceit they are deceitful liars, full of hostility. They are gossips who love to spread malicious slander with inflated egos. They hurl hateful insults at God, yet they are nothing more than arrogant boasters. They are rebels against their parents and totally immoral. They are senseless, faithless, ruthless, heartless, and completely merciless. Although they are fully aware of God's law, They are fully what? Who does not know God? Although they are fully aware of God's law and proper order, and knowing that those who do all of these things deserve to die, yet they still go headlong into darkness, encouraging others to do the same and applauding them when they do. Bwana sifiwe. Homosexuality and lesbianism homosexuality and lesbianism has been glorified and the target people are our youngsters bona sifiwe those who have been in it during the old times now they are busy recruiting the young ones bona sifiwe Kitambo homosexuality and lesbianism used to happen but ilikuwa chini ya maji. Lakini siku hizi tunaona mpaka makanisa yameanza ku Is it true? Some countries have legalized this demonic act. Some churches have even gone as far as legalizing and even solemnizing those marriages in church. But what does the word of God say? The word of God is calling this act shameful. Bwana sifiwe. The word of God is calling this act shameful. And today the Lord says that he has given you a leeway to make a choice on which way to follow. He has given you the path of life. He has given you the path of death. It is up to you to choose. At times I look at our young stars especially There's a clip that I saw from South Africa where children were parading. I think most of you have seen it. Children were parading. Mtu anakuja anasema my name is so and so and I'm a lesbian. Mwingine anakuja anasema I'm so and so and I'm a trans trans what? Trans what? Transido. Mutiarie. Ni mutiwe. I'm a transgender. Bwana asifiwe. Mwingine anakuja anaparet anasema I am proudly gay. 
we know the word of God. We know what the word of God says. So it is up to you to choose. That no matter the pressure that you are in to flow with the rest of the children of the rest of the world, you know the truth. And how do you know the truth? You know the truth by knowing the word of God. Because the word of God says that I've hidden your word in your heart. Knowing the word of God is not just carrying the Bible. Knowing the word of God is not just reciting what the Bible says. Knowing the word of God is meditating on the word and doing the word. But we have become readers of the Bible of God. But we do not do the word of God. When it comes to disrespecting our parents, we are number one. Because we are told things in our homes. Mama kwa kikukataza kitu, mama baba kwa kikukataza kitu. He or she has been there before. Hakukatazi kwa sababu wana kuchukia. This is something that I always tell my sons. That we are in the same team. Bwana asifiwe. Whenever I'm telling you something, you are in the same what? Sisi si hutu na tusi. Bwana asifiwe. So when I'm telling my children something and I feel like they're feeling like like I'm against them. I always tell them we are fighting from the same side. Because they are young men. And they have their issues and they have their ways that they want to follow. But hey, I am the authority in the house. So they have to follow. So today I'm here to tell you that homosexuality has been glorified. And they believe that their desires are normal. They believe, that is a belief from the devil. They believe that their desires are normal. Are they normal? Are they normal? Are they normal? And they, they feel that they have a right to express them. And that is why it is all over the social medias. And that is why it is all over even in schools. That is why it is all over even in churches. But God does not encourage us to fulfill all our desires, even the normal ones. Those desires that violate his laws must be controlled. All of us have control buttons. All of us have what? We have what? We have control buttons. And it is time for us to make use of these control buttons. How do we make use of these control buttons? By avoiding the places which lead us to these kind of temptations. Avoiding the friends who lead us to these kinds of temptations. Especially those of us who are in boarding schools, which is so rampant. You are recruited just by a touch. You are recruited by just a touch. Or maybe somebody promises you something and you feel like you can indulge because anakufanyi a favor. It is time for you now to stand on your feet. In the year 2024, learn to create relationships that are worthy for you. Learn to separate your relationships. There is the outer court, the inner court, and the holy of holies. Bona sifiwe. The outer court is the acquaintances. Those people that you meet and say hi to. The inner court is your best friend. And the holy of holies is reserved for God. It is not a must that you should be in a relationship with everyone. Youth, hear me. It is not a must. Love is a command. Love is a command, but relationship is not a command. Learn to separate your friendships in this year 2024. The word of God has clearly told you to choose life. If you want to perish, who unto you? Because one thing that I know is that God is merciful. When we go back to our opening word in the book of Genesis. We hear God calling out to Adam. 
Does it mean that God did not know that Adam has sinned? See, he knew. But he still came. He still came. What does that tell you? That even right now, God is waiting for you. It does not matter what you did on Christmas Day. It does not matter what you did on Boxing Day. It does not matter what you did previously. God is still asking you, where are you? At times I tend to think if Adam, when they sinned, if they sat down and waited for God, and when God called them out, wangesema ni kofa baba lakini ni natubu. At times I tend to think atunge kwa na ima shida yote. But what did they choose to do? They chose to hide. Bwana sifiwe. Today I'm here to tell you, stop hiding. Because God loves you even in your weakness. Either it is sexual sin, either it, was, it is gossip, either malice or disobedience, God is still merciful. Bwana sifiwe. God is asking you today, where are you? What choice are you going to make today as we cross over to 2024? Are you going to cross over with a sin of sexual sins, with malice, or whatever is against God's plan for you? It is a question. We are all hyped up that 2024 is coming. But in Akuja Ukiwa Aji. Bwana Sifiwe. In Akuja Ukiwa Aji. Do you know Kama Utavuka 2024? December 31st, that is when we hear a lot of premature deaths. Nyukweli. Because that is when Rafiki Yako Mekuja Mekwambia Kuna Mugidhi Apalewacha to Kunyo Kabla Tufike Nini? Kabla Tufike 2024. 31st of, of, of December it's a beautiful day if you stay hidden in God I would hate and I would cry to hear that any of us here have died on the 31st of December a premature death I lost my mother-in-law recently I think about four months ago And I remember when Eldanjeya came to my home for the kuomboleza. Kuna swali alituuliza. Alituambia nyumba ya mama imeisha. Na yako je? Unajua imebaki wapi? Maybe imebakia kamsumari. Maybe imebakia tu kabalb. Amen. Maybe imebakia nini? Imebakia maybe kahinji. Bwana asifiwe. Ikiisha hivi mwenye, mwenyewe akisema akugongelee hiyo msumari. Ikwe ndio mwisho nyumba yako imeisha. Where will you go? Utapatoa ukiwa club. Utapatoa ukiwa in sexual sin. Utapatoa ukiwa umeribel. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. I'm here to tell you. I'm not here to scare you. But I'm here to tell you the facts of life. That the Lord is waiting for you. That he is merciful. And he is all knowing and all loving. If he chose to forgive the thief that was crucified with him at the last minute. And what did he, what did he tell him? At this time you'll be with me in, in paradise. Bwana asifiwe. Today is the day. The 31st of December. When you are crossing over to the year 2024, let it be a desire in your heart to become a new creation. Tell the Lord to give you a new wine skin. Bwana asifiwe. Tell the Lord to renew your mind. Tell the Lord to give you instructions. Bwana asifiwe. Tell the Lord to give you an ear like the ear of Isaac in the book of Genesis 26. Bwana asifiwe. Because Isaac heard the voice of God 
and he followed the instructions and he became the wealthiest person. Tell the Lord to give you wisdom, even in school, even in your businesses, those who are working. In the day-to-day -day life, tell God to give you the wisdom that you need. Because God is waiting for you to ask. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe kanisa. I'm not here to scare you. But one thing that I know, I know that homosexuality is quite rampant in schools. And if you are already yoked in it, there is still forgiveness. Bwana asifiwe. There is still help for you. Bwana asifiwe. It is disgusting. There's a time I saw a clip where a tall African man and a short white man got married in church. Who saw that clip? They were all in white. I'm kuna mtu aliona. Wacha ni kujifanya manze. Sisi vitu ziko kwa social media. Who, who saw this thing? And the man had a long veil and it came to the part of kiss the bride. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. When you hear about it, is it a good thing? Is it a good thing? I'm talking to the youth. Is it a good thing? I'm expecting answers. Is it a good thing? Remember this day what the Lord has said that he has set before you life and death. Blessings or it is for you to make a choice. When you look at Daniel in the book, when you, yeah, when you look at Daniel, he refused to yoke himself with the king's food because he was a, he was a wise guy. He knew akikunwa wine we don't know what was in that food. Maybe he could have fallen. But he chose not to defile himself. Look at Joseph. How many men can resist that? But he made a choice not to sin against his God. Hey, ninaongea uongo. Ninaongea uongo. How many men can resist a naked woman? David could not resist a naked woman. Ni kweli? David could not resist a naked woman. In fact, it made him kill the husband of the lady. But what did Joseph do? He made a choice. So today I'm here to tell you as we cross over to 2024, make a conscious decision. Make a choice of whom to follow. Joshua Lisimama Kasema. Nie na nyoba ya koyode. Tore tunga tagera gai. Onda inyode moarega gai. Ata kama utabaki peke yako. Even if you become the most unpopular girl or unpopular dude, choose God. Choose God. I'm here to pass this message to you on the 31st of December. That God is merciful. That God is all-knowing. God is loving. And he's waiting for you. The same time that he used to go and visit Adam and Eve in the cool of the evening, God still showed up. He knew they had sinned, but he still showed up. He knew they had sinned, but he still called them. At, in your hour, your prayer hour, even when you do not show up, God shows up. Even when you don't show up. Kama unendanga kuomba sanne. Even if you don't go, God will be there seated. 
waiting for you. He did not fail to go to visit Adam and Eve as it was his tradition. The same thing he's doing to you. So just know when you don't show up, God does what? God shows up. So it is for you to make a decision, a conscious decision, not to keep God waiting at your place of meeting. Bwana sifiwe. Bwana sifiwe. And when we go to Genesis 3.21, 321. Nahashon, do you have it? Kindly. Whoever has it to read for me. I want to show you how merciful God is. Yes, Genesis 3 verse 21. It says, And the Lord God made uh, and the and the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife garments of skin and clothed them. Hallelujah. What did God do? Alifanya nini? He made garments for them. Akafunika uchi wao. Ata kama walikuwa memkosea. Ata kama walikuwa mejificha. Ata kama walikuwa mejitengenezea matawi. Aliwapatia a better garment. Bwana asifiwe. So today it does not matter what you have done. It does not matter what you've done. God is waiting for you. And he's not going to expose you. He's going to clothe you. I'm trying to imagine God in his majesty at his throne. Akiwa na sindano na uzi. Akishonea Adam na Ivanguo. The king of kings. He's ready to do it for you. But the only way that you can access this grace is by accepting Jesus Christ as your personal savior. He's waiting for you. As you cross 2021, 20, 2024. If you want God to cover your shame, if you want God to cover your nakedness, do not run away from him. It is time to go to God. Because we don't know what happens the next second. We don't know if your house in Mebakisha only bulb. We don't know if your house in Mebakisha only that small msumari. And then you are told to go home. Which home will you go to? The word of God says, I've set before you life and blessings all. It is up to you children to make the right choice tonight is a good night but also a very dangerous night because that is when evil when Akwanga imekuwa released at the midnight hour when people are partying and I'm so glad that our church has given our youth a platform to come and worship God as we cross over to 2024 those who do not know their secret, say you are melala wa kisema. Watcha tulale kwa sababu siku ni sherehe. Ni ukweli? Ndi wakivuka mwaka wavuke mwaka wakiwa si wa levi lakini watakuwa kwa ba. Ni ukweli? Kuna wengine mbao watagusa drugs for the first time today. Kuna wengine ambao wata defile their bodies for the first time today. Umeambua na rafiki yako how can you get into 20, 2024 being a virgin? Elder Lucy, does it happen? I've been there, I know. Uneza jeruka mwaka ukiwa virgin. Kama huna demu. 